Today I'm going to be showing you how we use the polyline tool to create digital art in Google Drawings. The first thing you need to do when you come into Google Drawings is come up here to your line tool. You're going to click the drop, uh, the drop box next to the line tool. And you're going to go down and choose the tool that says polyline. It's the second one from the bottom. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use that polyline tool to trace around these shapes up here in this box. The thing about this tool is the only thing that you can create with this tool are polygons. So you have to create closed figures with this tool. So I'm going to start right here at the corner. I'm going to click to place my first point. I'm going to follow the sides of this shape around. I'm never going to cut across the middle of my shape because then I'm not going to be able to close my shape correctly. I'm going to go to the next corner. I'm going to click to lay my next point down. I'm going to continue following along those sides. I'm going to click at the next corner. I'm going to continue walking around. Think about it like a fence. You have to close this area in. Click at my next corner. I'm going to use my mouse. I'm just going to move up to the next corner. The only time I am clicking on anything is when I am putting down one of those points. So then I'm going to go back. Your starting point and your ending point have to be the same. So on this last side, I'm going to go back to my starting point. I'm going to lay that point down and you can see right here that I have closed this shape and I know that because the inside of the figure that I just created has changed color. If you want to change the color of this shape, you can go up here to the paint, um, to the paint bucket tool and you can change that to any color that you want to change it to. Okay, so let's say you have your polyline tool and you start making some lines and you need to put this tool down, but you're not quite sure how to do that. Up until the point that you have closed this figure, you can always get rid of it just by pressing the escape key. So I'm going to press the escape key and it's going to get rid of all those random lines that I drew. I'm going to show you one more example right here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this one because this shape's a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to go back, pick up my polyline tool. I need to make sure I have the right tool. It has to be this tool. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to start again on that corner. I'm going to click to place a point. I'm going to go to the next part, click and place a point, click and place a point, click and place a point, click and place a point. Now at this point, I need to scroll down. So I'm just scrolling, click and place a point click and place a point, click and place a point, click and place a point, click and place a point. So you get what I'm saying. I'm going to go all the way around that shape and remember that my last point has to be the same as the place that I started. If it's not, it's not going to fill in that shape. Okay, so I know that my shape is closed because it has now filled in with color.